Hello, it's Ozzy here. In this video, I'm just going to cover five things. Number one be like, how can you create a branding email? How can we forward the cPanel emails into Gmail? Like this email, I will, you know, transfer these cPanel emails into this one. That means when someone takes a mail, it's automatically sent to my this mail, right? Like Gmail. Okay, so that I don't need to go the cPanel every single time or webmail. I have to check this is right so this is gonna be I will teach you that and also how we can connect it I mean how can we connect our these emails into our gmails that we can directly send it from the mails in here that is like the mail and just like send it okay and then how can we add profile pictures into our cPanel email how can I do it okay and then the last thing how can I add signature on there Okay, so first of all, let's create the branding email first of all, and then we just go ahead, okay? So first, um, right now I'm in cPanel emails account, and I'm just gonna click on a create button, and then I need to choose the domain where I want to, you know, uh, do this. So I keep here designalot.com, this one, and I put here, hi, and now I need to put a password. So I'm just going to put a password, don't forget the password because it's gonna be needed when you're just going to uh, connect your mail into Gmail. That time it's gonna need it. Or if you're gonna connect your e this uh, cPanel email into your Gmail, I mean your phone uh, and other software, that time this password will be needed. Okay, so I'm just creating it and I get the email right now. And here's the right now three options, check mails, manage and connect device. For this check mail, I can check the mail on my OML and I can send it, you know, uh, people max message from here. So now it's login and here is the manage option. Okay, so manage option, I can update a little bit, uh, you know, like if you're gonna update the storage and anything else, then you can do it. And here's a connect device that you can directly connect it into your other software, like, you know, I'm iPad or iPhone or anything else. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm just locking it to show you that how it is mainly. And it's having some more information like username and incoming and outco outgoing. All right, so in this, in the here, as you can see, it's something like Gmail, right? It's here, inbox, drops and everything half. But here, it's the important thing that is need, um, go to setting and here's the identification. And now we can change, you know, uh, like the name uh, the display name, an organization, and if you also can put signature on your this mail, okay? If you want, if you want to use it on webmail, you can put this thing in here. Problem is, you know, we need to just log in every single time this webmail to check it out. Someone texts me or not, so it's a bit painful, you know. Okay, so the second thing we successfully create the business email, and now we need to forward this mail into our Gmail. So how can you do? We need to go back here and now we just need to, in email section, we need to click forwarder, forwarder, yep, forwarder is like this. <laughs> now we need to choose the domain, it's gonna be this one. And now, uh, okay, so where is that? Here is that, okay. And now we need to click on this add forwarder. And now we need to type the email that we want, it is like design a lot. And which mail we gonna transfer? We gonna transfer it like RC dot get WX, but this one. So um, let me go send. Is there anything? Nope. Okay. So let me type here my Gmail. RC dot get WP export. Right. Uh, now everything is okay. I think. Let's add forwarder. Let's copy the email address go back and now go back to the mail compose put the mail and now I just say hi test one again I type one I'll just send it all right so it's doing a little send but since it's coming from the hosting account sometimes it, it's take a little bit of time like 30 seconds one minute all right so I get the mail in here as you can see uh, within few seconds, I get it. Export as it, and it's saying one and test one. That is really works fine. And if I reload it, I mean, if if I gonna send the reply, 
it's a reply but right now this reply is going to azitotgetablickspot this email but in really i don't really want because if you get check it out then i'm only text here hi android design ally this domain i'm not merely texting this the this, this mail i'm not but with the person they are replying in here they're applying it and from the different email but I didn't really need to right all right so now let's connect it I mean let's connect our cPanel email like this one that you recently created um, hi at right design allah.com we're just going to connect it onto our um, Gmail I mean the Gmail that we can directly send it I mean directly send it through using our branding email okay let's go back you just click on here um, okay here are the setting icon just here I can and go to setting all see all settings go here into um, where is that it's like uh, okay so here is that here is a accounts and import and now we need to click on here add another email address just click on here and we get another pop-up and now I really need to open another one all right, so now I need to put the email address okay so my email address is uh, I need to put this one like hi dot this one this is my email address so here is it I put it down and this gonna be like hello so or like hi uh, it's not gonna be I did design it's gonna be design a lie so I type it here and now we need to go the next and now it's saying that we need to put the SMTP server so get the SMTP server going to go back again here and this is the incoming right so incoming and outcoming is the same so copy the uh, you know the domain name that you are and paste it here and now in the username will be the same right I mean the username will be the same like this one as you can see the username is this one so just copy and paste and now we need to put here the password that recently you know set so I can remember my password so I type it and now I'm just need to change it to six four six five that's it and let's add account and now it's the saying like they sent on a verification code so when you check the mail let's go back to again let's go to inbox as you can see since we already set up our forward email so when the cPanel email get an email they install it forward it into our gmail so i get this code in here so i copy the code go back to in here and test it and let's verify it all right so this tab is kind of close right now and now if i reload it it will get to see we get an extra email account in here all right so as you can see here is an extra email address now if you want you can just um you can set up it i mean the default one if you want to make it default then um, what happened when this is gonna composite then we get to see this here on top this is my other thing okay and now we can so you can select it which email do I need to use for this for example I to use this one so I can select it if I use this one then you can select it from here okay that's it and now I'm just gonna type my email address like this one Bangladesh master and I'm just gonna say like um, three Aussie test and it's gonna be uh, like this let's send it Let's go to view email. As you can see, it's I send it successfully, but there is no profile picture. Let's go back to my email. Let's click on inbox, reload it. But I think I get the mail on the spam. Uh, no, I didn't get it. Let's wait a little bit. All right, so we get the mail in here. Hi, design ally, and here is it this one that was text it but now if I reply it for example thank you and type it for here so it's saying that sent uh, let's go back to my Gmail and reload it oh it's merely showing the sent let's go back reload it Uh, it's really it's need really a lit, little bit time it's like okay we got it it's it's take almost 30 seconds to 40 seconds for getting this mail you know so I get the reply in here and the the before before mail was this one and I get that this one reply all right so that's great I hope you understand about it like how we can uh, set up it our normal 
C panel email into Gmail. So this is the number third. And number fourth is gonna be super, you know, something <laughs> super simple. Okay. So now as you can see, this email is really look like scary something that uh someone like not trusted. Not trusted because normally what happened uh, when you get an email, they put a logo in there or they put something else. But in our it's don't have. So really it's important to put the logo in here. Okay, all right, so I just copy in here and the URL. And now I'm just opening another browser. If you want, then you can use the same browser. I don't wanna share my emails, that's why I come in here. <laughs> all right, so let's go to google.com or Google. And here at the top, as you can see my Gmails. So just click on here and let's click on add another account. And now you need to click on use another account. And now you need to create account and click on here to manage my business. And then you get to see this have an option like uh, they are showing to uh, put in a, your, your, your like something, something like normally you get it. So I don't really want it. I want to use my own or current email address. Just click on use current, my, my current email address. So just click on here and put the email address that you want to put. I'm gonna put like MD, my name, I'm gonna put it here. And again, I need to put a password. So I put a password. Again, I put the same password. And let's click on next. All right, so now they're saying they send in a code and my mail. So let's go to my mail. Let's check it out. Is it the same one? Let's reload it. All right, so get up with the code here, copy it, go back to breath, paste the code, and next. And now they're saying to put the number, if I, all right, so they're saying my um, information, like my bot that, um, okay, let's put something fake. And right now I'm putting fade, but I will, I will put something in letter. Okay, I'll put something later. Okay, let's go to next. Um, all right, so I agree. And now my email will be created here. So as you can see, let's continue. All right, so it's saying like, um, it's showing like something like this. So I don't really, I don't wanna add anything else in here. So I just going to go here, manage your Google account. Just click on here. I mean, I click on a picture, left, uh, right side, and then I click on manage your account and then we need to put here the image just click on this one this icon you get us in a pop-up let's add profile picture so it's have a lot of pictures or you can take it from your computer let's go here uh let me find my one pictures like where is that okay here is the one so i'm just gonna put my this one this one and it's uploading let's wait all right so it's almost done resize it, I mean, just rotate or resize it a little bit, next. And then it's saying like visible to everyone. Yeah, I wanna serve everyone. And save as a profile picture. And it's just saving, yeah, it's not save. And reload it, okay, we don't need to reload it, we get a picture, right? And now if I go back to the profile again, okay, I need to close it, let's go back to Chrome again. And now if I go here, and now if I go my one Gmail and reload it, and now compose, and if I type hi and designlaw.com, as you can see, I get my picture in here. So that we recently added, now we can see it, right? So the number four, I hope you understand like how we can change it. So in later, if you really wanna change the image, um, if you wish that, okay, uh, I wanna change it. So then what do you need to do? Let me just, you just, you will be logged out, right? So you need to log in with this email and the password. Let me, um, let add an account, then you understand it. So here's that, oops, no, no, no. So let's another account, use another account. So you need to put the mail, for example, hi, uh, mdrg2, or uh, sorry, it's not mdrg2, it's like design ally. I mean, you need to put your email, uh, you need to put the 
email address and then you need to put the password right you need to password the email of the password and then go to the next then you will log in again so when you log in again follow the same procedure like go to here manage your account and then change state that's it change the image from here just remove and put a new all right so i hope you understand about it if you want to change the image in later how you can do it's quick you know it's very simple now this last part is about how we can put a signature on your mail so it's quite easy not have something let's go here again to the gear icon and let's go to the setting and now we need to finding out here signature let's go to import all right so now it's have an inbox uh, we need to finding out here um, okay so here is it i think okay here is the signature option you will get to stay in a general option so in here we need to click on add new and the signature name will be my sig nature signature and create it and now we need to put the image or whatever you love to put you can do it here so in all i have is some free signature maker um signature well, okay so it's like uh you can use this one westhamp.com this website i i was create my own signature uh, using this website i think yeah i can remember it so again this one you can use this one to create your own signature okay so as you can see i was putting this one so it's like easy right i was like copy something like this i was copy it so here's all the option name pictures everything you have and then you have to copy it and go back to your signature and paste it then you will get the same to same so here is us here's the uh, the trademark so i'm just going to remove it oh okay 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 it's not the same thing it's not gonna removing oh we need to remove it you know it's like something easy just remove it just slowly slowly just remove slowly all right so now it's okay and um, now it's perfect so if i now save it uh, where is that yeah it was the bottom save it and now if i go to the compost then every single time people can see it on here insert a signature yeah here is the insert a signature and my signature yeah, i'll get it all right so i hope you understand about it and if you have a question about uh, these emails um you can you can tell me in the description i think i cover everything uh, about branding email how we can create it and how to put images how you can create it in gmail and if you want to watch like if you want to add your this email into your your gmail app then please visit my channel and on my channel come here the search button and search your email just search your email then you get to see a lot of videos about it like here's the video how you can set up cpanel email on android you can watch this video with this one and yeah it's have a like this one how to use cpanel email on gmail app you can watch this one so it's have almost two video i i think uh this also this video will help you and also if you're new here on my channel please do subscribe because i only uh, create videos about design and development things thank you so much